What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to some more Roblox. Today we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Tycoon. Now, I'm playing this on the PC. And the answer is quite simple. It's not compatible with the PlayStation 5. Yeah, it just says PlayStation 4, but I don't have my PlayStation 4, like, hooked up. I have it in storage for the time being. And I don't want to like dig it out. Plus, I don't know if the audio quality is as good as there. So, what I'm gonna do right now is just leave this thing to gather some cash. We're gonna try and get the hoppers all set up, which means we gotta first. Here's a few things like here. We got some palm trees, palm trees, bench. Ooh, we don't have enough cash there. But we can get some more now. Once we get the hoppers, we can actually make even more cash. But for the time being, we're just gonna set up a few areas. Let's let the money roll in. Right now, we have very limited cash. There we go. As I... I want to think that we're doing like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Security Breach Tycoon, I guess I should tell you. My uh, parody character... Torio, you know, the glam rock Torio, I'll probably show up a picture of it on the screen. I am basically am going to give her the name Roseanne, which is a pun on Roxanne. And basically she's going to be the polar opposite. Now, you know from the security breach that Roxanne is, well, full of herself. Loves herself, she talks to herself, she thinks she's the best. Where Glamrock Roseanne is the total opposite. She's very loving, caring, and willing to help people out. In fact, I feel like in my parody, she would probably help out like Sun and Moon in the daycare center. And maybe they would have like a preschool in the pizza plex because let's not forget this Glamrock Roseanne is supposed to be like a Glamrock version of Toriel. And according to the lore and Undertale, Toriel always wanted to like start a school. So I feel like her either helping out Sun and Moon in the pizza plex daycare or them having like a preschool somewhere in the pizza plex if they did I don't know what the name would be it's probably something glam rock related but yeah anyway we're just trying to get enough money for the hoppers and still not enough so what we're making right now is Glamrock, Roxanne, and Monty Gator. The hoppers kind of match their colors, if you think about it. Okay, we got... We should have enough. I guess that's what's with Chica. Yep. And speaking of which of my character parodies, the, uh, Alphys Glamrock. I mean, I know she's like supposed to be like the parody of Chica, but honestly, I don't know much about Glamrock Chica's personality. Except for the fact that she eats garbage. And that's something I don't see Alphys doing. So, I really don't know what Glamrock Chica's personality is. Except for the fact that 
So in the beginning of the game, we see her like rocking out in her green room. And then we see her eating trash. It doesn't give us a much idea what her personality would be. But let's get back to Glamrock outfits. When I see her as some kind of science teacher, I mean the lab coat and Ika she's holding. I feel like she would basically be teaching kids about science or something. At least that's what I believe. There we go. Boom. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this for now and let it just build up. So see you guys later. Once I make a lot of cash, I'm just going to come up here, so I'm out of the way. Oh, you know what? It looks like our neighbors. I have the costumes ready. So let's see if we can get them. We'll try and just sneak our way in to make sure the guy does not see us. We're just gonna sneak in, get the costume, and sneak out. Got the Roxanne costume. Now let's just get out of here before he decides to like really kill us. That one. Okay, I don't think he spotted me. Oh, wow, look at the way the Roxanne is like it's like she's skipping. costume. This kind of makes sense. Okay, we got 6,400. We might have enough for this security room. Pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be. Uh, grab that. Okay, some... I think it's easier to be in first person mode. that we have managed to get so many things by just waiting a bit. Okay, Ooh. poster. I'm not gonna lie, that looks freaking cool. Let's get a few more cash. Nice. Now let's head back. Grab that. And there's a few things in this room. Just gonna keep going until I run out of cash. Because getting back to the parody characters, my parody for Monty Gator is gonna be Danny Manta Ray, which is, like I said, the polar opposite. Now, Danny, now Monty Gator, I should say, he's loud. Rash and doesn't think. Where Monty, where Danny, he's more laid back, relax, and just goes with the flow kind of animatronic. I mean, he doesn't worry about anything, he just lets things happen. I even have this idea for an animation. But I haven't even got it, I, like, need a script or anything. And as always, I do the voices myself. But I'm not going to say what it is. Right. 
Dang it. Okay, I'm back to Roxanne. I gotta be careful I don't hit the buttons. Oh, I'm out. Okay, so let's head back. So... Look at that, it even looks like it's flickering, but that's just... Now, as for the bat added animatronic, I don't have his name fully memorized. Along with the... Glamrock Alphys animatronic. I mean, I know that's not going to be the actual name, but I'm just using it as a placeholder until I can think up a name for her. I might even add more animatronics down the road. But, for the time being, we'll just call them that. Like I said, in the game, you don't have to get much of a uh, personality for Glamrock Chica. Just the fact that she likes to eat trash. So with that said, I don't know what her personality is. I guess I could ask Google, but I doubt it would even know. You know what? Let's do that. Since I'm basically doing a video, let's see that in live stream. Let's ask. Google. Oh. What is the personality of Glamrock Chica? Personality. Glamrock Chica is shown to be deceptive. Giving Gregory false promises of seeing his parents. Offering candy or trying to comfort him to seem friendly. All in attempts to make him give out his location. Hmm. So she's deceptive. Well, at least they already know what Glamrock Chica's personality is. She's a deceptive kind of animatronic. But then again... That's because of the malware virus making them act up. So can we really say that that's her personality? No, I don't think we can. I think the best chance we have is just to give her a personality. A personality that would not be affected by the glitch virus. Give me your suggestions of what her personality would be. Getting back to the bat animatronic I made, I always see him as kind of a wannabe hero. You know, always wanting to jump head in danger to rescue the weak. Because that's what I feel like he would be. That's just the kind of personality I feel like he would normally have. But then again, that is my character. So, I don't know. You probably have to talk like a hero would. Like, have no fear, so and so is here. Or something like that. I don't know. I mean, he's still in the early stages. I don't even know what his voice should be. I don't know if it's a sound like Texan. Or Southern, or be a cowboy, or something. I really don't know. I just know he's had kind of a hero complex. That's the kind of guy I feel the bat animatronic would be. But then again, these are my animatronics, so I guess you guys can't tell me exactly what their personality is, is because it's up to me, right? Right. So basically, I'm just asking you, what do you think Glamrock Chica's personality would be if she was not infected by the male hair virus? C. 
themed is she has to work with kids and she has a jazzercise studio maybe she would be more like into fitness wanting to get the kids to eat healthy things like carrots and apples and oranges and stuff like that but then again this is just me going by the information I have and not by the actual like male hair virus this has infected the animatronics okay there's a quick way to get over to there and we're back over here that was easy Good, I didn't transform. That to get burn trap. I don't want that. Uh, let me just save my progress. Boop. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Well, let's just pretend that it does. Basically, this one, I have to do it in one setting. If I try to come back to it at a later date, then I have to start all over again. So, there we go. Trying to. Now, if we could get Laser Sight up and running, that's some more cash all done. Basically, ty Tycoon, I have played this multiple times, and I know once we get like the race car or go kart, we're basically completed. I did see one time somebody like literally reset their station. However, I don't know how they did that. If they press one of these, it doesn't seem to have any effect. Oh. For I know if people have their own favorite animatronics but and I know it's kind of stupid but I guess you could say my favorite Glamrock animatronic would have to be the one I made the uh, Roseanne animatronic and you say oh you only looked up because you're the one who created it well duh I mean, if you create a fan-made animatronic, wouldn't you say that the yours was the favorite one? Let me uh, rephrase that. What is your favorite non-canon animatronic? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if I like your animatronic, I might make it into an actual character in my YouTube shorts. Right now in my animation shorts, I'm going back to the main story about Ez being reincarnated as his character, the Fox Bat, and Sophie is explaining everything to him, like how she knows everything about him. And when I mean Everything, I mean everything, including his dreams. Now, I have already posted that part of the video on my YouTube shorts titled God Knows, which is kind of true. Basically, it explains that even if you try to hide evidence, God already knows what you did. You can't hide anything from God. Heck, even if you think you can buy your way into heaven, think again. When you die, your money doesn't come with you. In fact, you can't take any of your spare physical items. They just be left behind. So, it really doesn't matter how rich you are. If you did not leave a full life, you're 
a good life, like helping those less fortunate. It doesn't matter how rich you are, you're not going into heaven. You gotta think of others before you think of yourself.